my name is Ada Yushich, and on behalf of Newham Heritage Month and Rosetta Arts, I'll be presenting this workshop illustrating Cody Docks, a poster making workshop inspired by the lives of people who have lived and worked in and around Cody Docks, both in the past and the present. Before starting this workshop, you might wish to download the information pack that's also available. Uh, inside, you'll find some uh, great photos uh, from Cody Docs past and present that you can use as inspiration or as a starting point for your design. Uh, there is also a written history of Cody Docs, as well as some additional uh, instructional videos around poster design and drawing techniques that you might find helpful. So before we get started with the demonstration, I'm just going to run through quickly some materials that you might have in the home or that you might like to use. Um, a wide range of materials is not necessary, just a paper and pen uh, could, can do fine. Uh, but um, if you have these in the home, you might wish to incorporate them as well. Um, so if you have a printer to hand, uh, you may wish to print out some of the images in the information pack uh, to use them either uh, for collaging techniques or um, as inspiration to draw from. Plain paper and coloured paper as well, if you have it. As um, coloured paper can uh, be used to create interesting contrasting backgrounds to your artwork. But, um, but if you don't have coloured paper, plain paper is absolutely fine. Other things you might like to uh, have to hand are scissors and glue especially if you want to have a go at collaging or if you want to cut out and stick down some of the uh, images that you've printed out. In terms of pens, pencils and colouring pens, um, ordinary household pens such as biros, uh, fine liners and other handwriting pens are perfectly fine to use. If you have any thicker or uh, chunkier or coloured markers, uh, you may wish to use those as well as they're quite good fun and handy for uh, colouring in larger parts of the image. If you have highlighters, they're also great for adding a pop of uh, neon colour. And crayons and colouring pencils are also great to have uh, as they add colour and a little bit of texture as well. So before we start drawing our poster, it's important to consider the composition. Composition is how images and text are laid out on the field or the background or the page that you're working on. And by changing the, uh, the nature of the composition, you can create different uh, dramatic and interesting effects. Um, so, for example, some examples of um, different poster comp compositions is you can use alternation where you have alternating images. I've, I've used um, cutouts off the photos from the info pack here as example. Also think about how you're using space. You can change uh, and tilt the angles of uh, the images that you're using to create uh, interesting and um, sort of uh, dynamic poses on the page. They don't, they don't necessarily have to be realistic, so don't worry if you're uh, if you're turning a building the wrong way, or if, or even if something is upside down. There's there's lots of different different and interesting ways that you can um, you can place items on a page to make to make your poster more visually arresting. You could choose to have one large image dominating your poster or a contrast between a larger image and a much smaller one, say, in the background. Or you can choose to bunch all your images together, either at the top or at the bottom of the page, and leave the rest of it relatively clear. This is called gradation. If you don't have a printer to handy or you aren't able to uh, to make printouts from the info pack uh, to plan um, your poster, you can just grab a, a marker pen and do a quick sketch of where you want the images or your drawings to rest on the page. So you might want to use a bit of scrap paper 
for this first to plan it out and you don't have to be great drawings you can just do like uh, these quick scribbly sketches like I have perhaps uh, indicate where you'd like to put text to go if you want to have text on it and where you might like to have some colouring in or some block colour to differentiate from the bits of the poster that you're going to leave blank to let the background colour of the paper show through. So now that we've chosen our composition, um, it's time to start drawing. Uh, so here I've um, I've pre-prepared some of my poster design already, and um, I've decided to uh, contrast uh, a Cody Doc worker uh, from the present with one of the past. So here I've um, I've chosen uh, to draw this young woman from uh, Cody Doc's newsletter with her power drill and I'm going to contrast her with a coal worker uh, from uh, from the 1800s when the docks uh, were first uh, functioning as as an industrial place of work and so I'm going to uh, just, uh, draw a poster uh, where these two women are sort of on opposite ends uh, to kind of highlight the the contrast um, of the uh, of the different natures of their work. You can see the um, the, the young woman from the present. Uh, she's using an, an electric drill. She's got um, she's got all the modern protection, the mask, the goggles. Um, whereas the, the lady from the 1800s, you can see um, she's uh, using a manual tool, a pickaxe, and she doesn't really seem to be wearing any kind of protection, ex well, except for her, her heavy boots and her work coat. So I thought that was I thought that was quite interesting um, how uh, how differently uh, the workplace has changed over two hundred years, particularly in, in the area around Cody Docks. Uh, perhaps you might have noticed some similar uh, contrasts or similarities yourselves, and that might be uh, something that you've chosen to explore in your own post of design. Anyway, getting started. So, so I've cut I've cut I've cut the um, the coal worker. Uh, so I, I've got like a little bit of a reference and so um, I'm going to take a coloured pen and I'm just going to start drawing the shape of this figure as if I'm drawing a silhouette. her hand that's holding the pickaxe, the handle of the pickaxe. This one boot. And then once I've done with the outline, I'm going to fill it in. So this is a this is a quick drawing technique that you'll find um, in one of the linked videos in the information pack, and it's it's just a very quick way to do a fun and easy illustration where you lay down a coloured shape first. And then and then draw the draw the details over the top. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, if the lines are a bit wobbly or not quite in the right places. Uh, it's just it's about um, having fun and creating uh, an interesting and unique illustration. So it's, it's not about being perfect at all. Let's switch back to this one. And so now I'm going to take a fine liner pen. So that the first drawing I did in pink biro, but I think with this one I'm going to go with a black fine liner. And I'm just going to go around the illustration 
or rather the shape that I've drawn and make the illustration and fill in the outline and the details. the second hand there. Yeah, what I find quite quite interesting uh, while researching Cody Docs for this project is how how the, uh, the the work that would have taken place in and around the docks over say two hundred years has moved from this this very tough physical labour to um, more kind of office-based labour. If you, if you go to KD Docks and the surrounding areas today, you'll see they've got headquarters and um, and offices for all kinds of companies. There's, a, there's an Amazon and a Sainsbury's warehouse there. There's also Getty Images who have kindly given us permission to use some of the images for this workshop and lot, lots of different companies uh, where I suppose people uh, sit at desks rather than breaking coal all day long. So nearly done, just going to draw in the details of her face. She seems quite smiley for a for what must have been quite a tough, like quite a backbreaking job. And uh, just noticed that she seems to be wearing like a belt on her coat as well. There we go, so that's the that's the second illustration finished. Uh, so now I'm going to add some text to my poster and I think the text that I'm going to go with is uh, Women Workers of Cody Docks. Um, so if, if you're if you're not if you're not super confident with lettering, uh, you might want to take a pencil and just very faintly outline what you're going to write. Um, right, I think I might go over this. With, oh, no, that's probably a bit too thick, so I'm going to take quite a thick black pen just to test it out. Uh, the trick with good lettering is to go nice and slow. And if you're not confident in your handwriting, uh, to write in capitals. That's like that's a little trick until you get a bit more confident. Make sure they're nicely spaced apart as well. That case a little bit close to the R. <laughs>
nearly run out of space for the asp. I think I can just about squeeze it in there. Now, um, once you've got your text and your illustrations, you might want to cut these out and put these on some coloured paper, perhaps, and sort of play around with the composition again, like we did, uh, like before we started the drawing. But um, if you don't have coloured paper or sort of coloured materials, um, you can. There are other ways to create an interesting coloured background. So I'm going to take a, a felt tip pen and. draw some sort of bold lines as the background to this side of the poster. To add to the contrast, I've, um, I've reversed the, I'm going to reverse the background colours for each side of the poster. So I'm doing the background for this modern half in an orange. And on this side, we need to do a yellow set contrasts with the figure on this side. I really love using household highlighters because they have such a such vivid neon colours. I think also the, the neon yellow um, kind of uh, uh, recalls the high vis that you see uh, a lot of workers wearing around Cody Docks as well. So I'm going to do one more quick demonstration. Um, so for this one, I've taken this lovely photo of the two girls at a prose test. And I've, uh, I've done a quick sketch of the girl on the right. And I'm now going to very quickly draw her in using an ink pen. I like these thick black marker pens because you can get quite dramatic lines with them. It's great for doing her lovely pigtails that she's wearing. There we go. I'm just going to skip the footage ahead a bit now uh, so you can see the finished. So now that I've finished uh, outlining uh, the girl in black pen, I'm going to add some shading and I've, I've decided to use a blue marker for this. So I'm just going to add a bit of shading. So everywhere where a shadow falls on a face, so around the eyes and the mouth and a little bit under the nose. 
and under the fringe as well because she's got quite a heavy fringe and then some under the neck shading on her t-shirt um. okay so now that I've finished uh, coloring uh, my drawing off the the girl at the protest I've cut her out and I'm going to make a collage poster uh, with some printouts that I made uh, of images from the information pack so I've got the Cozy Doc sign and this um, uh, this uh, old piece of machinery. And I'm just going to play around with these uh, cutout elements and see how I want to arrange them on the paper. Okay, so I think I've roughly got my composition how I want it. So now I just have to stick it down. And here is the finished poster once, once it's all been stuck down into place. So those are two quick and easy ways to make a fun poster celebrating the heritage of Cody Docs. So there we go, illustrating Cody Docs. For more fun workshops and fascinating Newham Heritage, please go to www.newhamheritagemonth.org. Thank you.